Russian and Ukrainian forces were engaged in combat in at least three locations, on the Eastern Front, according to a senior Ukrainian defense official on Monday. Over the course of two days, Ukrainian forces have been advancing towards Kupiansk in the Kharkiv region. Because they have little, or no reserves, to help ease the pressure on frontline troops, Russian defensive lines in Ukraine are probably frail. Russian forces probably don't have enough reserves, to switch out frontline units. Russia would be forced to depend on its already weakened forces, if Ukraine managed to break through. Ukrainian artillery fire caused a high number of casualties, in Russian military concentration areas, which was probably an attempt by the Ukrainians to weaken Russian troops, in the south of their state. In Bakhmut, and Zaporizhia, as well as in eastern Donetsk, Ukraine seems to be making slow but steady progress. Despite an unimpressive start to Ukraine's eagerly awaited summer offensive, to wrest land from Russian troops, Kyiv claims its western funders are not putting pressure on the nation for prompt results. Russian sources claim that the Kremlin, has made both gains and losses. A well-known Russian military blogger claimed, that Ukrainian forces were putting pressure on Russian positions close to a village, and a Russian official claimed Monday morning on the messaging service Telegram, that he had been informed that two Ukrainian intelligence gathering interceptors had been stopped. Striking at objectives behind the front lines is one aspect of Ukraine's current campaign, that does appear to be producing noticeable results. These target Russian command centers, military barracks, and supply lines, disrupting and degrading them all. Ukrainian units can soon expect greater success in their counteroffensive, based on the activity of Ukrainian forces, and indications of the difficulties the Russian military services are facing. Ukrainian forces used precision strikes to target Russian command centers, and logistical support hubs. The success of this tactic in the surrounding neighborhoods of besieged cities suggests that the Russian armed services, resources are exhausting in the areas they have taken over, according to the Russian general summaries. The Ukrainian armed forces are currently conducting, pre-attacks against Russian units, in densely populated areas in an effort to pinpoint vulnerable points where advantages can be gained. The Russian army's key command posts, logistical hubs, and transportation hubs are also under attack. The city of Bakhmut is still under the control of Russian forces, but Ukrainian troops have managed to seize crucial territory to its north and south, offering them command over the city's roads, and the ability to fire heavy artillery at it. The Institute for the Study of War reported that, the Ukrainian military has modified its counteroffensive strategy, to reduce casualties while continuing to attack Russian troops. According to the fact sheet, officials asserted that the decrease in losses to 10% over the following weeks was due to a change in Ukrainian strategy. The Ukrainian armed forces have changed their strategy to focus on demolishing Russian troops with howitzers and long-range missile systems rather than launching massive assaults.